What's in season with Michael Marks. I am Michael Marks, your produce man. So what in the world is that right there? Oh my goodness, it's so wrinkled. I love it when it's wrinkled because when it's wrinkled, it's ripe. This is called passion fruit. Lily koi, if you happen to be from Hawaii. Uh, but take a look at this. Uh, this is passion fruit. It originated in uh, the Amazon regions of Brazil. Uh, in fact, there's a missionary in the 1500s uh, that saw the flower gorgeous purple flower with white petals on it and it, to him it, back in the 1500s it looked like uh, the crown of thorns worn by Christ which is why they call it passion fruit the passion of Christ right so that's how it even got its name so what in the world do you do with passion fruit let me cut this open and show you what it looks like inside yeah it looks gross inside doesn't it uh, get out ladies and gentlemen the vanilla ice cream and then just take the insides and dribble, drizzle it over your vanilla ice cream. I guarantee you, every single one of you have had this. You just didn't know it. A professor at the University of Hawaii uh, tried to figure out, what do we do with lily koi? He came up with 101 things to do with lily koi. His best thing that he had, yeah, Hawaiian punch. That's right, and all of you have had Hawaiian punch. Uh, that is the punch in Hawaiian punch. Hey, I wanted to talk a little bit about potatoes uh, because there's a fancy word that Nora Olson, she's a scientist of spuds, a professor of potatoes at the University of Idaho. And there's something called a dormancy break. When you harvest potatoes, uh, they come and they go into dormancy. They go to sleep. And a russet potato at 42 degrees will sleep for 175 days. And then physiologically in there, five things start happening and they start waking up and they start coming up with these little tiny sprouts. Uh, so a sprouting spud actually is a very healthy spud because it wants to grow for a a new plant for a new season. So when you see these, just pluck off those little uh, those little sprouts, and you can go ahead and cook them. Also, this time of year, thing all the bulbs, uh, garlic and onions, uh, they begin to they can decay. So what I want you to do is check the neck of the onion. That's where it's always going to decay first. So if you start seeing some decay under there, find another onion. Now, finally, I want to talk about sweet potatoes, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't let Easter be the last time that you eat sweet potatoes, the healthiest vegetable grown on planet Earth.